Hey yo, it's Omnidog here. How's it going today? I will be doing a oh an an overview and review of Wicca, which is put out by Titan Comics, and quite frankly, is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Uh, you can I will have a link in the description <laughs> description. You can get it at Organic Price Books. Use my code OmniDog for $2 off and big savings, 5% off. Shipping three or more books together with code OmniDog, ship it together. So I don't want to give too much away, but I have to give enough away to get you interested in reading it. The first thing you're going to notice is whoop, the unbelievably amazing art. This artwork, do not read this book too fast because, well, first of all, I don't think you can. You have to let every page sink in because the artwork is simply some of the most gorgeous I have ever seen in my comic book reading career. Um, so what's it about? Well, we've got Wicca, who is born to a family. She is a fairy. She is born into the family that lives in Castle Grimm. Uh, but there's an over overthrow, and baby Wicca barely escapes, uh, helped with a troll friend. There is uh, There are goblins, fairies, dark fairies, white fairies, light fairies, uh, elves, there's everything you want in a fantasy. And uh, I mean, look at this. This art is just stunning. So her family gets overthrown and she's on the run as a little baby. She's taken away and protected until her adventures start as a teenager. Uh, and let's see. Okay, there's Wicca right there. So I don't want to give too much away, but I don't think out of, I think out of context, you won't really realize what's going on. But here's when she, at Avalon, when she is a teenager. Now, the cool thing about Wicca is that she has these kind of natural tattoos on her face that change all through the book due to her emotions. Here's her first love. See, as you can see right here, she's getting a little upset. So her tattoos change. Uh, I don't know if they're really tattoos, they're, but they change all the time. And the, the book is really well written. Uh, a tale that involves Conspiracy, of course, backstabbing, surprises, uh, switches. Um, and by switches, I mean um, things that happen that you wouldn't normally think would happen. Um, here she is again. This is her early life. So the book writing is an A for me. Uh, I don't usually give letter grades, but I don't know what else to do. But the the illustration is off the charts. If there's a better grade than A+, I'd give it to it because it's unbelievable. These are some of the bad guys. Here's one thing about this book. Let me see if I can find a representative panel. You can't really race through this book because some of the paneling's a little different. Um, and by that, I mean, well, these are normal, whoop, don't want to give that away. Sometimes you need to, this is normal paneling. Uh, but see, now here's one. How do you follow this? So you need to take care in how you read it because if, uh, it can sometimes be a little circuitous as to the order that you read it on the page. You'll see as we go further in the book. Uh, 
this book was recommended to me from my friend in Sweden who goes by the online name Mark Spector or am I Jake Lockley. He is a a connoisseur of fine comics, and I am blessed that he recommended this to me. Let me show you, so I've shown you a lot of the art, and I don't think you've been able to figure out, let's skip so we don't get too much context to give away the story. Okay, here you don't even know who anybody is, so that's better. But check out this, well, I'm not there yet. I want to show, I mean, look at this gorgeous art. And I will give you the names of the writer and the artist at the end. See, this is, this, you need to just take your time and read it carefully. This is not a fast read by any means, and you don't want to go through it too fast because you want this, <laughs> look at this art. It must have taken this artist months or a year to do this. It's so amazing. Look at this. Simply remarkable. So Wicca ends up having powers, of course, and there's a big war, uh, multiple battles, and she has uh, unexpected allies, unexpected enemies, and it's really a top-notch fantasy that I would be surprised if everyone who loves fantasy didn't love this book. I would, I would really be surprised if people didn't love this book as much as I do. Not just based on the art. Everybody's going to love the art, but the story is remarkable too. And let me get to what I think is really an impressive layout here. I'll see if I can get it all on camera. There's even a fold-out section. I'm going to have to drag the book. Where it folds out towards the end of the book. Look at this. The detail in this is astonishing. And the coloring is astonishing. But it doesn't help if you've got pretty art and no story. <coughs> Todd McFarlane. So it helps that this story is everything you want it to be in a fantasy. A fantasy, it's a steampunk fairy tale. And you've You've got my attention with steampunk, and then you've driven it right home if it's a steampunk fairy tale with a gal who has changing tattoos on her face, um, amazing allies that maybe you thought were enemies, and then a, a good chunk of the book is told in... Well, I'm not even sure I can show this properly, but there's a section of the book where... I guess this is considered portrait as opposed to landscape. But there's a good chunk of the book that goes like that. So let's talk about, Tom okay, Thomas Day is the writer and the artist's name, okay, I'm going to try it. Olivier L'Editre. Now, they're both French. It's translated from the French. So maybe it's Thomas de, and oh, I'm pronouncing it like with my Spanish accent. And I think I got it with Olivier Ledre. Ledre. Tell me how I did my friend Julien from Mont Montreal. So I give this a 100%, translated by Christopher Pope, I give this a 100%, 10 out of 10, A+, plus, 5 out of 5, 2 thumbs up, already my book of the year, even though it's been out a while. Uh, I will never sell this book. Knowing my memory in two years, I'll have forgotten all about it, and I'll remember to go right back and read it 
because this is an adventure that you want to relive over and over and over. What book am I talking about? Wicca. So this has been Omni Dog. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your checking out my review and uh, slash overview. You can find me on Instagram on Omni Dogs underscore Vault, and you can always go to my library to find other things, other reviews, interviews, and other fun stuff. And don't forget to go to Organic Price Books and use my code Omni Dog. Yeah, there. So peace and love, peace and love. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I hope you all are interested in checking out this book. Top book of the year for me so far in 2023. Peace and love, peace and love.